I really have no idea where we are going or what is happening. I like the pretty sky out there. I don't know about that. I wonder, like, is this the, supposed to be the forest that came from down there? Could we see, like, hey, there's a spot where I knocked 70,000 souls off. It's supposed to be a big, you know, contiguous world, but does it really factor in as a contiguous world when you look at it? Or is it all just in, in theory? Okay, so basically, we're trying to get somewhere valuable right now, right? That's the... That's the goal of the hour. That is the happening thing. You know? And these guys, I mean, he's building his rock fortress. There's never-ending amount of bully boulders. Something I thought was a little bit odd. Um, a lot of you, or not maybe you, but some people, were uh, commenting about how Dark Souls came back and you're such a liar. It's now over. And I just don't, I didn't understand anything that anyone was saying because... As far as I remember, the last episode I posted was called Who Dark Souls Reloaded. And that the indication was that this was going to be a, a reinvigorated series and or or continuation of the series. Um, and that I would be posting an episode at another point sometime this week, which considering I posted on Monday, right now qualifies as this week. Saturday qualifies as part of this week. And yet the, the strange number of people who were thoroughly convinced that I had given up on the game yet again um, kind of made me just, like, scratch my head and walk away. Uh, but the, the, the fact of the matter is, no, the game is back, and, um, you know, people are asking how many times a week is it going to be. I'm just not... I, if, if I learned one thing... Oh, that hurt. If I've learned one thing um, over the, uh, the last month or two here, it's that making promises of the specifics is dangerous for everyone involved. So, what I'm going to say is that I will be making more Dark Souls than I have been making. How's that sound? Can you get behind that? Okay. Good, good, good. Now, let's open this treasure chest that doesn't have a freaking mimic in it. Flame Stone Plate Ring. What is that guy for? Getting all these rings. I must be getting married. Boost Fire Defense. I feel like I'm getting married with all these rings. I don't really need that, though. What are the ones I have on right now? Stop it. Ring of... Whoa. Steel protection and evil eye. That's boost defense. And then ring of the evil eye. Absorb HP. Alright. So basically, we've done all that we can. That's easy and fun. And now... Boys and girls of the good world. We have to run past... Giant boy. I don't, I don't know what his name is. I haven't ever been close enough to, like, say, Hey, what, who are you? But I hate that he throws these stinking boulders at me. It's really, really pretty rude. Um, oh, that's not good. I got burned. Um, where's he gonna throw this? I don't... Oh, hey. Okay, so... Oh, that was... You're, you're, you're so smart, Ghost Robo. You fell down yourself. Okay. <laughs> It was a test. I was just, I was experimenting with the, the strength of my legs. Leg durability here in Sense Fortress. Leg durability. Is the, is the goal here just to make this as frequent of a series as possible? Is that what everyone's saying? I'm, I'm in the process of doing things with my channel, and so I'm just... If that's what the good word is, then maybe that's what the good word shall be. Um, I need this guy to throw one and miss. I don't think he, It's not that guy. He's dropping them down. Can I make it? Yep! I made it! Ooh. Ooh, 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 knight. Ooh. Ooh, you're in a hall. Ooh. Ooh, what we are. We could be friends. Ooh. Oh, that was dangerous and bad. I should have been a little more cautious. I've been practicing the careful and soft and steady approach. Just for you guys. I mean, it's for myself too, but... Mainly at the the request of my audience. Um, I don't know where I'm going now. I feel like this isn't bad, bad, bad. Hello? There's that guy. Look at what is he doing? He's so he's being abused. Is this just like a blank wall? Yep. All right. Very strange indeed. I guess I should come down here to kill this this chump. Sit down on the ground. Remember when those guys gave me nightmares? Yeah. That was a long time ago, huh? Alright. 
Now, what is this room? What? That? Small kid? You guys, if you ever watched Sesame Street when you were like, I don't know, let's see what years, like 1993, 1994, that's probably my prime Sesame Street yearage. Um, and uh, that's what I remember the most of, because I was what, like, four and five, born in 89. So that puts me at four or five, and that's when I was like, big Sesame, big Sesame guy. Am I gonna get hit up here? Because I feel like those fireballs are not being launched. See, okay, so I guess this is Contiguous World. Our point, stop with the commentary and just talk about that that giant uh, thing over there, which is the cathedral slash church slash whatever that I fought the gargoyles on. So I guess this is Contiguous. I don't know what that whole area down there is, like the Great Wall of of Souls or whatnot. Um, somewhere down there is probably the Fire Link Shrine. Am I going to get hit up here? Is there, oh, there's an archer. Okay. That's cool. That's nice. Hey, man. Oh, God! Who's the Phoenix? Hello? I just want to make sure there's no snaky little guys in here. The whole building's shaking. That can't be good. Ooh. I don't like this. It's giving me a, a, a nausea. Large shard. I got a lot of shards. But because it's elemental, I don't think I can level up properly, right? Or no, can I? Am I speaking crazy talk? Oh, it's because it doesn't level up with, like, dexterity or whatever, right? Oh, God! Oh, my God. That guy is right there. Um... <laughs> Let me go this way first. Because, uh, jeez, someone's so angry at me. It's a bad day. It's a table. Have your last dinner. <laughs> Not anymore, chum bucket. All right. Sorry, gosh, what came over me right there? Who's this? Iron Tarkus. Okay. Well, okay. You want to you wanna help you on the join? I don't know why. Why you're here in this corner here. Hello, Iron Targus. Are you a are you a dude from the game? Or are you uh You are clearly an NPC. I was gonna say you're not you're not a human player. You're an NPC. National political convention. Alright. So we go through the white shining light. I feel like this could be bad. Come on, Iron Targus. We're gonna try this. You ready? Are you all ready for this? It could be horrible. It probably... It, it most likely will be horrible. Um, but, you know... You win some, you lose some, you learn... I feel like... Is he in here? No, 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 no! Did he, did he go try to fight him up here? What? You stupid! I wanted you for the white light! Man! What is going on? Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh, he's almost dead. Wow, Iron Tarkus is very tough. We vanquished him. The big, the big. I didn't even get to do much. But I mean, I I slapped his legs a few times. Wow. Thanks, Tarkus. That was bloody. You just he just just made a mess of this guy. And his ball just. I didn't mean to take that, but oh well. His, his, his stuff just crushes so easily. These big things they were flaming and smashing me in bits apparently don't hurt so bad. Is that the boss? That thing? Wow. He is so big. Oh my god. And then we go into the mountain, apparently. Iron Targus, can we... Is this where the white light connects to? It does. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, um... And what the heck? You live once, right? So, Iron Man, there we go. You ready? You guys ready for a boss battle? Oh boy, I'm I'm not, frankly. Iron Golem is 50 million feet in the air. Oh god. Oh, god. oh that's nice. He's got like wind blades. Nifty. Iron Targets. I'm trusting you to take. Dude, fight him! Come on! 
damage to this guy. Oh wow, Iron Targets is helping out here. I have a flaming ball. Oh, you like me now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust Iron Targets with this. He's good. I just don't wanna fall off. Please don't fall off. That was a big, a big axe, man. You're huge! Wow, Iron, Iron Targus. Iron, Iron Targus. Can get some hits in here. Or not. I'm just kind of doing my thing. Oh, I, I damaged him! I did it! I did 54 damage. I'm, I'm gonna let Iron Targus target do I mean, right, Dark Souls doesn't have to be pretty. Like, I've told you that many times. This game does not have to be pretty. Okay? It's about getting through the game and having a good time and seeing the sights of the world. It's not about making it the prettiest game ever. And then we never we, I never claim to be a pretty a pretty player in Dark Souls. I claim to be a successful one who beyond all all benefit of the doubt, beyond all odds, achieves the unachievable. He's now stuck in place. I don't understand what happened to him. Did he lose a leg? Are you just having a hard day or what? We're gonna kill this guy real soon. Dude. Oh, Vanquish! Bam, 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 bam! That was the... <laughs> Dark Souls reloaded for sure. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? What is gonna happen here? Oh, my god. Um... Um, uh, oh, 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 the, oh my, oh, why are they grabbing me, why, no, 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 drop, put me, oh, what is this land, okay, we're definitely in the Haunted Mansion now, what is it, what is that, Ah, oh god, I don't like these pixie sticks. Ow! Who did, where'd they put me? What is going on? First of all, this episode is all sorts of weird because of so many reasons. One, I beat a boss like on the first try without any hassle. I got 56, 50,000 souls for it. I'm in Anor Londo now. There's a freaking demon up there! The brain space in his actual brain space. He, he's a made of brains. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're carrying me back. I was like, um, what is going on? I was like, is he going to speak to me? Okay, so <laughs> it's fast travel. Learn the system, ghost. Because I can't get through this wall. It's like, um, nothing, nothing here. I just want to examine and make sure we didn't miss anything. In case you're like, oh, my God, the best armor in the game over here. Someone posted a comment. I did read one comment, which was that, um, it said, like, how are you so far in the game and yet you have nothing? And I was just like, uh. I didn't know if I should cry or if I should be angry or what. But they're just like, how are you so far in the game and you have nothing? I was like, well, in my head, I was just like, well, clearly I'm doing a pretty good job because I am somewhere. Whether I have nothing or not, I'm doing pretty good. Um, we're in Inner Londo. This is like, from where the game starts, the scope of the art direction and the scope of the levels just gets insane. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. Like, this is crazy, right? It's crazy. Apparently, these are the walls I was seeing from way up high, maybe. I don't know, but this episode is full of magic tricks. Beating a boss, getting a weird NPC summon that was phenomenal, reaching Inner Londo, getting carried by brain space demons, descending the steps from heaven, like what? Gaining 50,000 souls? Oh! My first challenge, uh... And, uh, does this start, does this function as a bonfire? Was there a bonfire? I just want to make sure. I I'm 99.8% sure there wasn't a bonfire, but on the strange chance that I, like, turned the wrong direction, I don't want to go. To, I don't think there is. No. Okay. So if I bonfire my bonfire back at Sense Fortress, then I have to go back all the way, walk all the way down. I don't know. I guess we're gonna take out the try to take out this guy by ourselves. Then I kind of liked having Iron Tarkus with me. He was a, he was really seriously strong. This guy looks like he's a, you know not happy to see me. Are you happy to see me? Let's see. You happy? I don't think that damaged him. Oh, it did. 62. Good. Oh, great. That was my pelvis. Freaking jerk. 
I have a fireball. All right. He's half dead. I, I can probably take this guy out. I guess. I don't know if it's just from, from you know. Oh, from from the the break I took. I don't know if it's from your help. I don't know if it's from a combination, a new sense of confidence. I just feel like I I am way like. I stand a chance against some of these guys that normally I wouldn't stand any chance against, you know? Kind of a good feeling. You're going down, man. You're going down. Okay, his uh his shield is like impenetrable. They're just huge. The enemies get so huge. I guess that's what's weird. Oh, vanquish! But at least they're these kind of guys that disappear permanently. Thanks, 1,500 souls, not a lot. Oh, no, he's not a big gun. Uh, street sweep, but that's a pretty castle. I'm guessing there's something really unpretty in there. Probably lots of unpretty things. Oh, another one. Another one over here? No. I don't think. That looks bad. That looks bad. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Something. I feel like something's gonna happen in this, like, graveyard. Or not graveyard, this courtyard here. Uh, those guys are just doing their own business, so. Um... What does this thing say? Come on. What? Oh, I'm putting the freaking praise the sun sign every which way. The lair area just got massive. That's just what's happening now. Need humanity? Let's go this way. Watch this. Good luck. Uh oh. Enemy ahead. Can I see him? makes me really nervous. Okay, what if I just go down? This one looks this looks a little less intimidating. I hope you guys are happy with this episode. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Again, like I told you, the series is not going anywhere. I did bonfire. I hope you realize that um, the week wait, or the five day wait, was worth the wait. Because this is a cool episode. Who's that? Who's this guy? Hey there. Hey, hey there. Hey there. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Hmm. Reinforce my Estus? Sure. Oh, Firekeeper's soul. Do I not have a Firekeeper's soul? For some reason I thought I did. Core of an iron golem, golem. What should I use that for? I thought I had. I really thought I had. Um. What a fire keeper soul? Apparently not. Let's uh. Let's use this for an extra eight k. Man, I'm gonna keep those special souls there. Okay, so that gives me sixty-six thousand, which I, I don't want to be running around with here. Um, so I'll give one to one to each of those. Um, but do I want dexterity or strength with the current lightning weapon I have? That's what you need to tell me. Do I? What should I level those up with my required? I mean, I can basically get two more levels here. Right? No. One, two levels? Yeah. Yes. No? One level. Two levels. I can get two levels. So, um, let me know what I should do with those. And, uh, yeah, we're making solid progress. Again, thank you guys for, for sticking with me, for watching. Um, no, no set date for the next episode, but it will be a shorter gap between... Two and three than it was between one and two. But thank you for sticking with me. It was kind of a, a crazy episode. Um, a boss, a new land, you know, all sorts of things. And let me know, in, you know, let me know in the comments what you think of the the little live video intro. If that adds something to the video, if you'd rather that be at the end as more of a recap instead of an intro, what you what you think, um, and, and and where I kind of go from here. So thanks a lot for watching. Fantastic day. Hope your weekend's going good. The sun is shining. I'm in some giant place, and it, uh, it's going. It's going, which is is not something that you can say all that often with Dark Souls. So thanks a lot for watching. Fantastic day, guys and girls. Until next time, we will see you all. Later.
Okay, so I know that in the video it makes it seem like this should have been preceding the gameplay, um, but when I thought about it, I was like, it makes more sense to talk afterwards, kind of like give thoughts on the episode, and, and that was a crazy episode because I, I fought a boss, I entered a new area, I, personally, let me tell you, when I, when I saw Stone Golem standing there, I thought, I'm done for, I'm like, this is going to be a 7 or 8 try boss, I'm going to have to be typing to my my Dark Souls fans I have on Skype, and they're like, what, what do I do, help me out here, um, and instead of being on the first try with the NPC, so I'm not going to take all the credit for that, I know, like, you guys are so like, oh, good job, Ghost, that's that's great, thank you for your your, your support, um, but I also know that I couldn't have done it without the, the NPC Iron Targets guy. I don't know where he came from, but he was supposed to be there. If that's who you get every time you fight the Stone Golem, it was just based on my, um, like, what do you call it? Not allegiance, but, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The thing where you, like, you group with the people in the Dark Souls. Um, covenants. There we go. Um, so that was crazy. I had no idea. I didn't know I breezed through. Um, I mean, he went and took out the big guy on the roof real fast. I was like, I wanted to do that. Uh, and then he took out the boss, which was fine, and the boss fell over, which I didn't really understand for a while. Uh, but then we got carried away creepily to a brand new place, which blows my mind how like vast it is, right? I, I do have the, the strategy guide, but I kind of only penciled through and, and flipped through the areas I'd already been to. So I saw Anna Rolando in there, and just like, oh, that looks cool. But I never like, mm, it's so vast, it's huge, right? And I don't, it's just like kind of a weird, a weird sense. I made mention in the video just about how, you know, what Dark Souls starts out as. It evolves so much even at this point in the game. And my game timer says 67 hours, which is not true because I left it on sometimes overnight. Um, if you add up all the episodes, I don't know. It's probably closer to, what would, you, what would you say, 50 episodes. You know, at roughly like 15 minutes an episode with an hour episode in here or there. So, you know, we're looking at, I don't know, probably close to 15 hours. 15, 16 hours. Still a considerable amount of time, um, but not 67. But just, just in that 15 hours how things so drastically change, and I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so so your focuses are, what do I do with those remaining 34 or 5,000 souls? Um, where do I put them? And then where do I go from here? Because it seems like there's two paths. One, and I don't know if that is a path down that hall, or if that's just going to lead to a, a empty room with two guys in it, or if we have to go down down that circular platform thing. Uh, but where should I go? What should I do? What do you think of the fact that I just breezed through the end of that and got to, to Andrew Londo so fast, and the boss was like, hey, Hey, sit back, relax, and do nothing. I hope I can summon Iron Targets again, because he's, he's pretty, he's pretty, pretty. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts on the episode, your thoughts on this live segment, whether you'd rather have be an intro, like, hey, in this episode, we're going to be doing this, this, and this, or if you'd rather be a recap, where I'm like, ah, oh, how did I beat that boss in one turn? Um, I kind of like recap, because I can give more reactions. Um, again, this is just sort of a, a test of it. But, uh, yeah, if you'd rather be an intro, I can do that as well. Just let me know. Uh, so Dark Souls will return when it returns, and it will be short, like I said, between two and three. It'll be a shorter gap than one, two. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys and girls, my, my room back there is a disaster. So we're going to go. We'll see you all. All right.